Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tahina's Lego Robotics. For those of you that are doing VEX VR virtual reality robots, if you didn't know, they have a new map called the Coral Reef Cleanup. If you want to see how it works, stay with me. Okay, so since a lot of us are doing the virtual online learning, and a lot of you guys might be using the VEX VR website for you know virtual robot programming, if you did not know, VEX VR rolled out a new map. Um, it's called, you know, in the playground, there's different maps like the grid map and the castle crasher, but they came out with the coral reef cleanup. It's a really cool map. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you and show you how do you navigate it, how do you score points, and ultimately, how do you become successful? So let's go. Okay, you guys, I'm on the VEX VR site. Uh, I, go, I went ahead and left you the link in the description for the VEX VR site. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in the playground up here in the upper right, um, you're gonna see the list of different playgrounds that they have, and there it is, the Coral Reef Cleanup. So let's go ahead and give this thing a chance to load. It's a really cool uh, map. It's just really colorful and um, it's just the graphics are a lot better than all the other ones. So what's really neat here is you have that 3D view like we have with the other ones. And we have the top view. And then we also have like this up close view here where you can see just everything. But here you can still see the robot. So that's a new addition right there. I've not seen that camera angle before. But let's go ahead and go back to the above view here. So the objective is to collect as much trash as you can. And to collect trash, you just have to have your robot go over the whatever item it is. So I'm going to go ahead and try to collect this water bottle as trash. Let's just go forward for a thousand millimeters and let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So the robot's going forward and you just have to, there's nothing tricky about it. You just have to go next to it and close enough to actually collect it. And if you notice down here, that piece of trash was one kilogram. And so the objective here is to collect as many kilograms of trash as you can before your battery runs out. So you can see that I'm just stopped right here, but my battery is still going down. So some key things you need to know is that you can collect trash just by staying in one place, but obviously you're not going to collect as much trash. You can see I just picked up that bag. Those big bags of trash are worth three kilograms. Um, so a, a point to be noted is your robot can collect trash even though it's in one place. But you're obviously not going to collect as much trash as you would if you're moving around to different parts of the coral reef. Um, some things to know is you will eat up more battery as you're moving around the coral reef. Um, so you can see here that my battery is going down, but it would be going down a lot faster if I was traveling around the coral reef. So um, your your job is to just you know, go around the reef and pick up as much trash, you can see that the trash just randomly gets placed in the coral reef. Um, so as you pick up trash, it's going to, you know, people are going to be dropping more trash in. And you can see here, I'm just staying in one place and I've already picked up 10 kilograms of trash. Um, but I would highly suggest if you're going to try to get a really good score, that you have your robot move around the coral reef. You're not going to get a very uh, high collection of kilograms if you just stay in one place. So the strategy would be to just go to where the trash would be located. And it's different every time, which means this big bag of trash is right here, but it might not be there if we reset that. So you just have to know that the trash is random, where the trash gets you know, dumped is random, you know, as, as you start to pick up things. So you're just trying to get as much as you can. And I'm going to go ahead and 
let's see. Uh, let's. I, I'm I'm waiting for this to go down so I can show you that the certificate that you would get. Um, that you're gonna it proves how much uh, trash that you picked up. So my my robotics class, um, all of my classes right now are in a competition where they're trying to see who can collect the most trash and their evidence is going to be a screenshot of their certificate. There's a place where you can put your name and it um, VEX VR will automatically put the amount of trash that you picked up. It'll put that into your certificate. So that's a really cool thing that, you know, you can decide to print it. But for my students, it's just a symbol of success where, you know, if they're trying to beat each other's record, um, I make them show me their certificate to show that they really did um, collect that much trash. So you can see here, like, whoa, look at all this trash here. So I'm not picking up a whole lot just sitting here. So it'd be better if I was moving around trying to pick up all this trash. Now you might say, Mr. Gino, can you use sensors for this? Yes, you can. You can see here that the coral reef uh, part, the outline here, the perimeter is darker than the inside here. So you can use sensors. Um, you can obviously use repeats. And so what's going to happen here is when you click on get certificate, um, you'll click this. Um, if you really want to get your certificate, you know, if you feel like your score is not that good, you might not want to bother. But when you click on get certificate, um, there's a place that will pop up. Um, I don't want to do it right now because it'll take me to a different tab and I won't have that recorded. Um, well, you know what? Let's do this and I'll go ahead and add this to the video. Okay, guys. So I clicked on that tab that said get certificate and it brought me to this tab here. So all you have to do is type in your name and it will say generate certificate. And there you go. It'll put your name right here. It'll put how many kilograms of trash you picked up. And you know, that's a pretty cool certificate to have. Um, but it's just one of those things where this is where I would expect my students, if they are trying to prove um, how much trash they picked up for a competition or for one of their assignments or projects, I'd want to see a screenshot of their certificate so we can verify how much trash they really did pick up. So it's just one of the, it's a cool aspect to have, especially for virtual learning right now. Instead of a video or VEX files, I can just take a look at their certificates to see how well they did. So let's go now to Mr. Hino's record uh, amount of kilograms for my certificate. Okay, guys, so there you go. Mr. Hino is throwing this challenge out to everybody. My record is 77 kilograms. And no, I don't expect my record to stand for very long because I know you guys are awesome and amazing. And you'll figure out a way to beat this. But for right now, just to motivate and pump you guys up, my record is 77 kilograms. And no, I'm not giving away any secrets because if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to beat me on your own. Um, but I already gave enough kind of hints in the video here to get you going. And, you know, it's just one of those things where you just got to keep trying things. Experiment with different paths. Experiment with different, you know, Whatever you feel is going to get you more trash, keep experimenting, you know, take notes of what work, what doesn't work, and then try to beat me. Okay, guys, so you have a record to beat. Mr. Hino's 77 kilograms. I'm waiting for you guys to see if you can break that record. So if you just send me a screenshot of your certificate, to send it to Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. I'll go ahead and do a follow up video and show all of the different certificates that you guys threw out there. So I'm going to see if you guys can be successful enough to come close to beating me or try to beat me. I'm going to throw that out and see if you guys can are up for the challenge. Okay. So the coral reef cleanup. Let's see how good you guys can do. Okay. Hopefully you're still staying safe, still having fun with robotics because robotics is fun. And I'm waiting to see if you guys can beat my record. Okay, guys, 
All right, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.